finally gotten out of here with our newfound power. Gonna go do some ass kicking. That's not what we need. Okay, we're... Oh, jeez. What are you gonna do? Punch me, bro? Freaking, uh... Avernus priests or monks or whatever you'd call them. Oh, this guy's got some magic. Hey, you like that? Oh, they're wearing masks. Oh, shit. It's one of the demons. Uh, Avernus, during the time of the game Blood Omen, was being overrun by bandits and demons. Well, maybe it was demons first, and then bandits took advantage of the chaos. But, um... It was, uh difficult place to get through because you couldn't feed on any of the demons. I don't know if maybe a Raziel's going to have a problem like that. Eventually, Cain would get the Soul Reaver in Avernus, and using it would be pretty effective in killing demons. get one hit on the thing, and then the rest just pass through it. Ah, oh, no soul. What a shame. No, 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 no. Oh, that's right, we get a new power, so the, the platform was in the middle of this room, I think. Hope they don't disappear too quickly. for me. There we go. Hello. Yeah, they stopped in their tracks. How polite of them. Oh, it looks like they lost me. Looking around like idiots. Never, never what? Oh, he's dead too. There's a book there. Take it, damn it. Dark scripture. We got ourselves some dark scripture. Let's put the dark scripture here, you know, piss a lot of people off. As the handsome coffin hides the putrefying corpse within, the great cathedral of Avernus seemed to hold its own secrets, hidden in the catacombs beneath its vaulted chambers. Was this the source of the corruption that infected Nosgoth? Vorador had hinted it something more. Well, we know about what the corruption was, but let's see what they have to say. The hell? <laughs> hey, 
History is written by the victors. Beneath the vaults of Avernus, I discovered scenes that told a familiar story, but from a very different point of view. This was the work of the enemy race, and revealed what the vampire histories had conveniently omitted. How the noble vampires, God-ridden and righteous, had started the wars that would destroy both races, victor and vanquished alike. Their adversaries opposed the vampire's god and refused to submit to the wheel of fate. For this, they were banished. I now understood the poetic irony of their curse, and my resemblance to the vampire's enemy no longer seemed so accidental. Well, would you look at that. Up until this point, every time we've seen the Hilden, it's always been a sort of adversarial way. The Hilden are evil. The Hilden are trying to invade Nazgoth. Seriously, dude, just lay down and die. And that was just sort of the way that they were portrayed. But now, uh, well, things seem a little bit different. The vampires worshipped the Elder God. The Hilden didn't. Now, uh, whatever you want to say about wars based on religious purposes, we can say for certain that the Elder God is no god, just a parasite latched onto the Wheel of Fate, sucking it dry and manipulating the people of Nazgoth to continue to feed it for its own selfish purposes. So, a lack of worship of the Elder God is hardly seen as a, uh, hardly seen as a sort of offense worthy of death or banishment in the case of the Hilden. We also know that the pillars of Nazgoth were erected for the purpose of keeping the Hilden out. So... Those pillars, their very natures, not so savory now. That doesn't mean that the Hilden aren't evil. It just means that the vampires are not without blood on their hands in this conflict. Had to get the damn demon out, didn't you? You can just roll over and die and not make things difficult for me. It's also pretty apparent that the that the um, reason for Avernus having well, I mean, we did know that to begin with that the Avernus demons that were attacking it were the result of what the Jewel was doing. She was summoning demons. Probably, well, I mean, the corruption had screwed her up pretty bad, it caused her to do some evil. <laughs> Your soul, giant creature. You don't have one. But we see some of the regular priests doing the, the same thing. The banished race foretold a hero who would deliver them from their oppressors and destroy the shackles of the vampire's tyrannous god. The same hero that bore the flaming sword. What game was this? Where every player on the board claimed the same pawn. So, Raziel. Your true nature is finally revealed. You were never the vampire's savior. It is to the Hilden race you belong. And when Cain realizes this, what do you think he will do? Well, Raziel's resemblance to 
the hilt in is uh, seems a little more than uh, coincidental, but he did resemble a vampire before his destruction, before his death, his second death. We also see the people of Avernus are, well, they are taking the side of the Hilden. We offer this sacrifice upon the altar of the world. The blood of our firstborn will be sacrificed to you. In the depths of Avernus Cathedral, I stumbled upon a bloody ritual. Was this the source of the corruption that had overtaken the city? May this blood nourish you for all eternity. The wrath of Hashagik has once more been averted. Depart now, as ever, in his service. What was it that these deluded humans worshipped with such fervor? Was this the dreaded unspoken that Vorador had warned me about? The so-called guard inhabited this hideous pit. I was about to meet it. Throat cut first, blood gouging, then it falls into the pit. The sacrifice is rejected. You will know my wrath. Not possible. No, it could not be. Stand away, monster. No. That voice. Not possible. I know that voice. But he fell. The abyss. He ended there. I did not fall into the abyss. Oh. It remembers that, does it? I was thrown in. By my own brethren. I heard what you did to them. And now you have found me at last. Terrell. <laughs> Terrell. Yes. That was my name then. The others were grotesque, but. Yes, I am changed. I have become a god. Greater than you ever were, Raziel. You were never a god. Greater even than Cain! It is to you that these humans offer their blood sacrifices? Hush a dick. Hush a dick. Yes. But how did this happen? I was summoned. There was darkness and great hunger. And then I was found. Why do you stay in this terrible place? Why stay? Would I remain if I could get out? While they hound me. And tear at me, and... <laughs> the hour is at hand, as it was foretold. Terrell? Use his voice to command the disciples above. We demand offerings to keep the host alive. He has been a durable vessel, but he can take us no further. 
must prevail. The champion of our enemy draws near. No! I must have blood! Bring me blood! Or feel the wrath of your god. You! Yours! Yes, it will strengthen me against them. What are you doing? No. No more questions. No more worship. Time to run. Time to scream. Time to die. Okay, Terrell. One of the vampire lieutenants of Cain uh, in the Soul Reaver era. He, well, he was the one vampire lieutenant that... Oh, shit. <laughs> that Raziel was unable to actually locate. Mm, adorable son of a bitch, isn't he? Alright, so this is not working out for me. Gonna have to find something else to do. Seems as though he was summoned by the people of Avernus in order to sort of be the vessel for their worship. And. Haha, how do you like that shit? <laughs> how to take this fucker out. Well, there's a, uh, the platform to climb here, but not doing me any good. I gotta, uh, take this thing out. I can't do, oh, okay, he's messed up. Time to hit him. Terrell was abducted, a vampire from the future, in order to sort of be the... Haha, -ha, I can violence you. Abducted to sort of be the... an eternal vessel of the Hildens, I would imagine, voice, in order to sort of... Uh, communicate with their worshippers in Avernus. Son of a bitch. Come on, play fair. How do you like that, huh? I figured out your secret, Big Bland. Time to get over there and hurt you. Uh, I gotta make sure I'm a little bit closer to him when I try that. Because, uh... If I get a close to distance, I'm not going to be able to get too many hits off. Come on, come on, come on. Terrell seems to have gone insane, and he legitimately believes himself to be a god, even though he's being manipulated the entire time. That's kind of a shame. 
the Raziel's finally getting his last chance here. The last of the revenge that he needed. Because, I mean, he was trying to take out all of his vampire brothers in the first Soul Reaver, but he wasn't really able to find Terrell. Terrell had disappeared. Apparently this is where he was. And all of Terrell's vampires had sort of just dispersed along the along Nosgoth to be found in most of the locations. Come on, play fair. Give me a chance to hurt you. I wonder if he's just physically trapped in a pit, or if there's some magical thing that's holding him here. I think that would be something I can do. Of course, uh... Raziel did eventually kill Terrell in a manner of speaking. In Soul Reaver 2, he killed Terrell's human body. Of course, that was, uh, centuries before his eventual resurrection even more centuries before his eventual mutation into this creepy-ass monster. Gotcha! One more and that'll do it. Seem as though he's just sort of trapped in the pit. Uh, which one haven't I hit yet? Taking a lot of hits here, Raziel. Gotcha. What did he just absorb? Hmm. Raziel had in the past absorbed powers from his killed fallen brothers and all that. But, uh, I'm not sure what he got there. Oh, his telekinetic powers are enhanced. All right. Terrell is dead. It seems as though the Hilda in control of him wanted that to happen. Still playing into their games, though, are we? Come to me, my undead son. Make haste to the pillars. The stage is set for the grand finale. You will have your vengeance. Mortanius. So, you have come out into the open at last. The binding must be fragile indeed. But you will find you are too late. What am I too late for this time? No. No. Not now. You are too late for the victory you sought. 
I have beaten you after all. You have mistaken my identity. Have I? You forget who schooled me in the ancient prophecies. Uh, 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 this vessel speaks truly. You are indeed overdue, but it no longer matters in the least. With or without you, we will prevail. So, I finally meet the unspoken, and here it is nestled in the heart of the circle itself. Ironic. <laughs> Poetic justice to topple the foundations of the pillars from within. We shall have our revenge in full measure and for all time. Ah, ah, this one has little strength left. One must not break him. Your kind does not like to lose. I seek the heart of darkness. Ah. Now you think of that. But as I told you, you are too late. The heart has served its function. I have used it to set prophecy in motion. I created the champion foretold by my masters who is destined to be your destroyer. The Scion of Balance will save Nosgoth. The pillars will return to vampire guardianship as intended, and your race will be cast down forever. Cain. You use the heart of darkness to create Cain. How else? I refused at first to believe the ancient myths. I thought the vampires were simply a plague upon mankind, a pestilence we had to control. But they were right, and we were wrong to overthrow them, Mobius and I. We didn't understand what it was the pillars were holding back. I have made my atonement. I will continue to make it to the end, which will be soon now. But I know, Cain will set it right. He will restore balance. Uh, uh, and none too soon. My enemy is growing stronger. Where is the heart of darkness now? Did you destroy it? <laughs> you still don't understand, do you? You cannot make use of it as long as Cain guards it with his life. Cain has it. It is in Cain. Check. And, mate, this deed will redeem first me and then all, Nosgoth. It must. It... Uh, 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 this one grows weak, but we will soon have a stronger vessel. The long-awaited hour approaches. Our release is at hand. <gasps> I must finish it now.